Hello, this is Yogan Brianto speaking again, and today I would like to continue with power and the force of the physical. What would you say is the most singular, strongest power, most powerful power that exists today? So I'll give you a moment to decide what that is. What I've seen, well, the answer is obvious. It's money. It's the only thing that can command not even millions, but billions of people to do what your will says. Because that's what's happening right now today on a planet with 7 billion humans. Isn't it? Money commands us. Whoever has our money, whoever has control of our source of life itself, it seems, which is money, they have power over us. That's our reality today, isn't it? And now I'm not saying that money is, you know, actual life. It's not, you know, actual life. Yet it is something that's, you know, it is a form in itself, you know? It is a form, I, you could say perhaps a life form, like anything else we have, you know. I want to now talk about the abstract, because money is abstract, isn't it? Can you name something that's abstract that we use daily? What I see are numbers. Numbers are something we use daily, and it's even a way that we quantify money is through numbers. But numbers quantify other things as well, doesn't it? So obviously numbers are abstract. They just represent things themselves, just like words. Words are also abstract. They're representations of things. And of course what gives those things meaning is the physical. That's the actual root of all power, like we were discussing before. And money, in a way, you could say, is sort of like how... It's like chains, in a way, sort of chaining the physical, you know. But the thing is, even chains, they'll run away, they'll rust rust away with time, and they'll break. So, because we've existed in this way for so long, it's not some, like, physical thing because anything physical would have been destroyed by now like human beings like how many human beings have been born and died you know since the beginning of time physical bodies don't last yet for some reason our monetary system has been lasting what seems absolutely and all the various forms have taken over the years whatever societies or systems but it's, but it's been existing hasn't it money money perhaps is the older thing then I guess you know, so then, what is then the root, the cause, the power, the motion on this locomotion? <laughs> um, I mean, it's obvious, right? It's just the human beings, the ones who maintain the chains, the one who maintains money, maintains the system. If you want something to last forever, you have to maintain it. And that's how the system has been, why it's been existing for as long as it has, because it's been maintained, supported, greased, protected. And if we want a new system, a new way of living, we have to put the same effort that we're putting into the system we have right now. Every day we put our life force into the system that we have today. If we expect there to be a new system, it's going to require either the equal amount of of life force that we're putting into the current one we have now, or even more, you know? And I know we're capable of more because aren't we just even just getting by, right? Most of us are just doing our jobs and just getting by. We're not really giving our 100% anyway. Imagine what would happen if you gave 100% to a system that you would actually care about. Money is something 
extremely powerful. Just think about all the things you would do if you didn't have any money. If you really were to put yourself in that situation, you would do practically anything. Because it's either that or die. So then, is this how we want to continue existing? I sure don't. I see like a different way of doing things, don't you? If we just make sure money is available to be able to pay for all the basic things so it's able to even allow our system which supposedly our economy is even having a difficult time something so simple just to have money be available to everyone so that you're able to do what you wish to do with your daytime commit yourself to the activities you see that are worthwhile doing to actually have a passion about life and that kind of life won't come easy that's why the ones who are doing this right now you could say that maybe they represent the best of us they're going to have to be the ones that push us to be farther than we would ever have thought or imagined or maybe even wanted ourselves to be. Because everything that exists right now is for the system, for money, for the enslavement and limitation of money, the scarcity of money. And so in order to change that, it's going to require some superhuman talents or abilities. If you think you're one of them, or have the potential, or you see that you have the potential within you to be one of them, I suggest, suggest that you join us on the Destiny Forum, on Living Income, and to become the potential that you have, become the power and the force that is actually the force of this existence, which is the physical. You just have to harness that, become it, live it, understand it, understand yourself, your history, your past, how you became the person you are today, and develop the tools, the abilities to change, to become, to live, to transform, something that is very much needed today. Okay, thank you very much.